Father, we pray that you will speak to someone's heart, open someone's eyes, encourage an individual, show him or her the way in Jesus' name. Amen. In the morning tonic, this morning, we are considering when manna stops. When manna stops. In Joshua chapter 5, Joshua chapter 5, I read from verse 10. And the children of Israel encamped in Gilgal and kept the Passover on the 14th day of the month at even in the plains of Jericho. And they did eat of the old corn of the land on the morrow. After the Passover, on living bread, on living cakes, and parched corn, in the self same day, and the manna did what? Ceased. On the morrow, after they had eaten of the old corn of the land, neither had the children of Israel manna anymore, but they did eat of the fruits of the land that year. Praise the Lord. What we are considering this morning is very, very important to real children of the living God. This message is for true children of the living God. You have a relationship with God in a genuine manner. I want to show you some things or the ways God can act that may make you feel otherwise. After Israelites left Egypt, they came to the wilderness and they were hungry. And they cried unto Moses, we are hungry. We need food. In Exodus chapter 16, from verse 1 to 4. Exodus 16, from verse 1 to 4, the Bible says, And they took their journey from Elim, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came unto the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, of the fifteenth day of the second month after their departing out of the land of Egypt. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots, and when we did eat bread to the full, for you have brought us up forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you. What is manna? Bread from heaven. I will rain bread from heaven for you. And the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. So from the passage we just read, we discovered there was no food. They cried unto God. They began to murmur. They thought, please listen, I'm laying foundation in this morning tonic. Please listen and learn how to walk with the Lord. Now, it was then they remembered what they used to eat, the cucumber, the melon, the garlic, according to them, pot of flesh. And they said, Moses, why did you bring us to die in the wilderness? God rained manna. They ate manna in the wilderness for about 40 years. 
And as soon as they entered into the land of promise, manna ceased. Manna stopped. And this could, as a, someone's manna stopping, could be the source of his livelihood. Had ceased. Somebody that ate on manna for 40 years, no labor. In the morning, breakfast is there. In the night, dinner is there. <laughs> what are you thinking? All of a sudden, after 40 years, the food you ate after, uh, during 40 years has entered into them. And in these 40 years, no labor. Wake up, gather food, enjoy yourself. That thing has entered into them. But they didn't know God's purpose. They didn't know what God had in mind for doing that. So, once manna being stopped could be the source of his or her livelihood be has stopped or the person has been sacked from work where you used to get money money is no longer coming and it could equally mean that one had lost his dear one somebody is leaning on to for survival all of a sudden die what happens? Or it could be the miracles or deliverance or the things we used to experience as a church. All of a sudden, or for some time, stopped coming up. Somebody will say, has God left us? Is God still in this business? What is happening around us? Why is our situation like this? Why is God wicked? Does God know that I do exist? Before you go too far, open your ears wide. Be focused because God is going to speak to somebody's heart even now. So, someone manner stopping could be, well, everything is gone. Because of fire outbreak. Or everything is gone. Because of armed robbery attack. Or whatever it is. But there is something I discovered that. Whenever manna stops. People react. Whenever manna stops. People react. Their reaction may lead them to the following number one you see has god not departed from us how come what we used to enjoy is no longer there two it could be the person or the church has committed a sin that's why what the people used to see they are no longer seeing it or it could be that god is dead and has failed his son or his daughter. But permit me to say that manna stopping is none of those reasons. Look up, manna stopping. When we talk about manna, manna cannot come from the devil. People can do whatever they want, but manna from Genesis to Exodus, nothing like we never saw the magicians of Pharaoh acting manner. Manner in the Bible came from God. So which means whenever somebody's manner stops, that is a reason. God is behind. It's not something that could leave people carry play cards. I've been sacked from work. I have this. I'm demonstrating. I am going to this, going to the press. This is that. If it is manna from God, your job sacked or terminated, you are placed on redundancy for no crime, or you lost something that is making you live and you are a true child of God, brothers and sisters. Others will say, I no go agree. I no go agree. Say, my dear, go. There is a purpose. Why? When one door closes, 
a better door opens. Then what are the reasons for God stopping the manna from continuing now they have entered? Number one, reasons for manna stopping. Manna came because they were in the wilderness. That's one of the reasons why God brought manna. They were in the wilderness. And they weren't farming. And they weren't working. No farming too. Whatever. So God wouldn't allow them to die. That's why he provided manna. Number two. Manna was for a temporal solution. Not a permanent one. Manna was for temporal. It's not permanent. But Israelites saw it that manna will continue flowing. Manna will continue flowing. But God said, no, it's not that. It's for temporal. Now you are in the wilderness. You are not farming and that's why I have allowed manna to come so that you will not cry. Number three. God stopped manna to enable them to discover their potentials. Now, look up here, everybody. God had to stop manna because the people have finally entered into the land of abundance. And he had to stop it so that they can discover their potential. What are we trying to say? We now discover that if God did not stop manna, what they carry will not be made manifest. Now, look, look at this from this angle. Now, if you sleep, wake up, food is on the table. You eat. In the night, you shower. In front, you have, in front of your house, you gather food. You need chicken. The bed called quail was there. You kill, cook, eat. You do that one year, two years, three years, four years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. In fact, if I say you have eaten your destiny, you have eaten yourself because you can't reason again. Am I talking to somebody? You become robots. You become, please, everybody. Okay, let me just... Where you are walking, you are sat. Can you stand up? You were sacked or you are placed on redundancy. Stand up. This message, though you are not many, just a bit few. But sit down. Now it's not, it may not just be this. There are those who are walking. And they are walking, they ought not to walk. And because God has stopped their manna, they are having problems. And they felt that if this thing is taken away from me, I will die. And that's why they are flogging them, flogging them, and they are still putting their heads. Because whenever manna ceases, one of God's major reasons is, Discover what you carry here. Whenever manna ceases, is to make you discover what you carry. Hmm. Okay. It's like some people don't understand. Let me just use myself for instance. When they call to leave a bonny state, come to River State, came on my wife and I. It wasn't easy to accept. Why? We've already gotten people there. Those who love us and those who care for us. You can say, A, go to this. The other one, driver, go to this. This one, do this other one. The other one, do this. And that's it. So, such a lifestyle had made us Okay, going to a strange land, how? 
Now, finally, we obeyed and left. We came down here. Now, let me t tell you what one of them from a Bonny State who visited us here when we were, we have roofed this place, but we've not plastered or done anything. He came, he was in front of here. He looked up, he looked down. He looked down the other side. Tears started falling. Ah, he said, my brother, why are you crying? He said, I should forgive them for what they did to me. I said, what did you do? people do, do to me? He said, no, 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 no. And let me tell you, when manna stops, your friends can become your enemies. When God stops your manna, those who loved you, who cherished you, we say we don't want to see you again. You may feel they hated you. No. They must do everything to make sure you discover what you carry. But this young man made a comment. As he was crying standing here, he looked up again, he looked down. He said, Chai, Pastor, I didn't know that a thing like this was inside of you when you were with us in our people. If your manna does not cease, what you carry cannot manifest. Am I talking to somebody? If you are manna, if you are manna, and let me tell you, when your manna ceases, and you don't want to act as God would want you, trouble, calamity, a lot of things will come up around you. And this young man made a comment. Chai pastor, we didn't know that a thing like this was inside of you while you were there. But he didn't know that something greater than this is still inside of me. I've not even discovered. Something this times hundred is still inside of me. Dearly beloved, there are something greater than this house that is inside of you. It can only manifest when your manner ceases. When your manner stops. When manna stops, it's not a time to be gossiping, complaining, grumbling, crying, doing this. No, God, as it is like this, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? The food I've been eating since 40 years. No labor. All of a sudden, because we entered into the land of promise, everything stopped. Which means... My hand that has never worked, I will carry home and start. Along the line, we didn't fight any battle. Because God said, he would have taken them through the shortcut. But because there are a lot of wars they will fight, he took them through the longer where there is no fight. The walls of Jericho is there for them to confront. The walls must go down. The Jerichos must be slaughtered and the land taken and there's red sea to cross. Am I talking to somebody? There are Canaanites, Hittites, Jebusites, Perizzites to fight. But when you eat in the morning, eat in the afternoon, no labor. Where will the strength? I pray that may the gift of God that is in you that has been inactive, be activated by this message. Amen. You believe that? Can I hear your amen? amen? So I said, manna came because they were in the wilderness. Two, manna was for a temporary solution, not permanent. Three, to enable them to discover their potential. Four, to enable them to develop faith and courage to take over their territories to enable them to develop faith and courage to take over their territories so those of us who are there either your loved one died or your business crashed or something else happened or you were thrown out of a walk and all the rest all these are not 
that you should die, that to make you become strong. Discover what you carry. Develop faith and courage to move forward. Five, God stop manna so that their greatness will appear. When manna stops, or one of the reasons why manna stops is so that their greatness will appear. Their ingenuity will appear. That which they carry will appear. And I'm trusting God and believing him. Whatsoever you carry, you have not discovered. Now that manner, some of us, their manner had stopped. Some of them, a lot of things had happened. May God open your eyes to discover what you have. Number six, God stopping manner from falling. It's an indication that you are entering into an era of increase. God stopping manna from falling is an indication that you are about to enter into an era of increase, an era of innovation, an era of discovery, an era. Oh my God, I don't know the experience. Or experiences you've been going through. And I'm going to stop now to take questions. Practical questions. This is a, a seamstress. Now, based on the things we shared, I'm on me called to say, come, 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 stand. Do you know how to do this? Look at this one. Look at that one. Do you know you can do this and do that and do that? Did you just say, ah, I know it, oh, but I don't know what. This one finished, another one and all the rest. Listen to me. In this season, I will not forget a prophetic word that came in the month of last month that amidst us, it was on Friday, during prosperity is my bad right. I will have some whose products will be making waves in the world. I don't care how you feel. I shared with you a small boy when I was pastoring in a bunny state after teaching them, opening their eyes. And this boy was in secondary school. By the time we left, he finished work, entered University of Calabar to study medicine, and is now a medical practitioner, an author of books. He sent one of his books. He wrote a letter, he said, Pastor, can you cast your mind back the days you were teaching us in the youth? And you, made the, you released the word that one of us will become authors of books. The book in your hand is a proof of that testimony, of that prophecy. And right now, he must have done quite great after that. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, I don't know the manner that stopped in your life. It could be in the school. It could be you are wafted. <laughs> Students, I think that's, uh, I'm correct. That's your language. <laughs> you are wafted out of the campus. Uh, parents that don't understand. <laughs> they showed them the back door. You know, after trying them, trying them, the GPA 0 0.01. That is, uh, by the time they calculate everything, the first year, 0 0.01. The second year, 0 0.01. They, they now said, oh boy, go and find some other things to do. Here is not meant for you. Oh, that is your manner that stopped. That is your manner that stopped. Be gate was wafted from the school. But today, he said, a multi-millionaire. Am I, am I saying the truth? Let me tell you. Uh, my prayer is, may my generation manner 
Stop in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> My people didn't just say amen. Yes, the amen is too poor because they didn't understand. I pray that my own manner will stop. Listen, brother, listen. If your manner doesn't stop, what you carry will never manifest. Okay, tell me. In the morning, food is on the table. Whatever you want is there. In the afternoon, lunch is there. In the night, dinner is there. For 10 years, what will happen? You'll be eating and getting fatter and fatter. Am I saying the truth? No exercise. When you are under the heat of the sun, you are sweating. What is it? It's exercising directly. And you are laboring. You can't reason. Somebody is making use of your brain. But when manna stops, oh boy, a hunger no go kill me. Man must work. No be so. You move out. In the course of moving out, you may stumble into something that will make you far, far more great. Now, Bill Gates, they threw out of the school. The principal that threw him out of the school. In fact, one of his companies cannot employ him. But they say Bill Gates is boom, useless, coconut head, anything. I don't know what they might have said about you. Whatsoever they said about you is not what you really are. It is what you think about yourself. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Make up your mind. Whatsoever be the experience you are going through right now, it's a sign that better things are ahead. I stop here. I want to receive questions. On this subject, when manna stops, it is divine. Are there some experiences you are passing through as an individual based on this teaching? You need some clarifications. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. You have a question? Personal experience in business, in anything you are doing, all of a sudden it's like something scattered. Or what you expected could not materialize. Can you come forward? You have a question? Let's trash it now. Yes, sister. Please listen attentively. When manna stops, what happens? God is saying, look inward. What is it you have? Good yes. morning, sir. Thank you, sir. I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask concerning this manner situation. I don't know if you have people that are around you that really can help you. You have professors, you have doctors who have lectured you and they know that you are capable and they know that you can do a lot of these things. And sometimes they recommend you into because i have a passion to lecture in the university and they give you recommendations you go to submit them and sometimes you even know the registrar you belong to a, a an academic group where the registrar and you discuss one-on-one -on -one. and these are people that have mentored you and they know that you are capable your supervisors are are working hand in hand with you they keep promising you oh catherine don't worry something good will come and these people are helping you can can this also be seen as Somebody's manner has stopped. Okay, I don't now, know. Okay, what do you have? Masters? I have a master's, yes, sir. And, and, and you, you would want to? Yes, I want to lecture. And I have people around me that are recommending me, but it's not working. It's not working. Okay. Now, um, let's look at it from this angle. Those that are to recommend you, have they done the recommendation? Yes. I've the so institution did not accept you? Yes, I've submitted a lot of recommendations, okay. especially for a prof. One okay. prof that is okay. well known. Okay, relax. Now, register for PhD. Once you register for PhD, now it's easy to make you a lecturer assistant. So as you, do, you are doing a PhD, 
work. You are almost in the system, considering your age so tender. So they will just, whether they like it or not, and then you get more closer to them with your works. You say, okay, just help us uh, come and teach the, the year one. Just, it could be, or assist them in their research work. Are you getting? You are doing PhD. Some of them may give you a title they want to present as international journals to enable them earn more something. It could be a joint venture. You, days, senior lecturer, you, PhD, Dr. So and so, all of you will team up at the end of the day. You're already in the system. So don't crack your head now. Enroll for PhD. And while you are doing the PhD, now extend your tentacles. Since that is your passion, you will get there. So once you enroll, let me know. So, sorry, sir. Please, can I chip in this? I also noticed that I have had some series of dreams for the past three months. Every time I dream, I see myself writing an exam and I don't submit. And the problem is that it's not because I don't know what to write. In the dream, I always know what to write. But submitting is always a problem. And then recently, on Monday, when you were doing Power of Deliverance, and the second day when it was in the evening. So I prayed very well. You were praying for different matters. You prayed for entrepreneurs. You prayed for business people. And then you prayed for people with certificates. So I brought out my certificate that night. And I laid it on the bed And when you were praying. And that night I slept and I dreamed this dream. For the third time, I wrote an exam. I did not submit. I was angry. Okay, I said, don't worry. Now. Right now, Heavenly Father, I take authority over the personality that he's saying her certificate will not take good care of her. I cut off your head. I waste you in the name of Jesus Christ. I release her to go and succeed in life. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. So once you enroll for PhD, let me know. Which course? Sorry. I have a BA in English. I have a PhD in linguistics. And I have a master's in linguistics and communication studies. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> now listen. Okay. Okay, we will, you will see me privately. We will talk. Better door. Hearing this, you, let me tell you, brother, when one door closes, glorious, wonderful one. Sister, God has answered your prayers. <laughs> we'll talk later. Next. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My question is, my this, on the, since I watched Daddy on Friday, I was watching Daddy on Friday. So last week, Friday, on Friday, I was just sitting and watching. When I was listening to Daddy, something began to come inside of me. So I begin to think, what will I do? Because I have a lot of things which I know, but I'm not, I'm not using them. So I was just thinking, the thought, the thing that Daddy was teaching is hitting me. Then I was sitting there in the night. I, can't, I could not sleep. I would stand up. Before you know, I begin to get something that nobody have done it. When I sit down, I got that and I say, how will I do this thing? Because really we are talking about manasses. Through our last my manasses, I become as if I'm a tight corner. So that thing make me to sit down. When I listen to that, I, I sit down, be watching. And when that is talking, something is hitting my head to the level I could not sleep. Even this morning, I could not, okay. yesterday, this morning, okay. I could not sleep. Okay. So now, what is it that struck your heart? Daddy, Daddy, I don't want to expose it because nobody knows that. And I will tell you. Okay, okay. Um, well, thank you. Very oh, well, let me tell you. That's correct. I love your style. Now, in part of the creativity topic we handle, we discover that secrets, factory secrets, that which you have, let it remain secret. Or else somebody else will duplicate it. Uh, are you hearing me? Keep it to yourself. We are going to share, rub minds together. And I will remove any obstacle, and that thing will appear. God bless you. Next person. Morning, sir. Morning. Sir, I have this challenge is bothering me at some time. When I was in school, I have a nice handwork. Even when I finished my first year in polytechnic, I went to go and learn a trade. This is the talking to something of a team. So after I learned it, I was asking myself, I have uh, these skills, I don't use it. I have these skills, I don't use it. I have these skills, I don't use okay, it. Okay, what are those, some of those skills? Can so, you mention? The four skills I, I had that uh, when you taught us here in church, all this production, something. So I make use of it very well. So the next two, and after my first day in school, I went to learn networking. I see school networking. So I can like, talk very well. I can do everything. When I was in school back then, my final year for ND, I went back again. In our particular, I, I used to be the one to teach my classmates how to configure a network cable and less of them. 
But I found out that these skills, I don't know how to use it. I've not used any of my skills one day. Sometimes I, tell my, I used to tell my mom that I have this skill, I can't use it. I, have used, I can't use it. As a graphic designer, I, have, I can't use it. Sometimes it makes me to wonder a lot. Now I tell this uh, mindset again, I want to host a business center. I want to get a business center before I get to my HND. But now I've, I'm having issues, nowhere to get money to start the business center. I tell my mom I'm going to a loan to borrow money. Okay, to now start. Look, look at this. You have a networking something. Yes, sir. Right? Yes. You do it for people? I do it for people. Well, I was trying to teach people how to configure a cable. Okay. Is there any profit coming out of it? Yes. Huh? Yes. Now, focus on that. Develop on that. Leave a opening or whatever. Work on that. Research more on that. Go to internet. See what they have done overseas. In fact, as you bend down, you will discover what your lecturer doesn't know. And now have your own patent bearing your own name. Age, brothers and sisters, listen. Discovery has nothing to do with age. A little boy can stumble into that will fetch him billions. So, my brother, the problem you are having is lack of focus. That networking is elementary level you are. Get into advance. Everything is available in the internet. Now consult. You can overseas register and be paying little, little to acquire more knowledge. And then diversify in the other networking that is not too common here. You will be interacting with them overseas, not even with the local. Because if what you carry, the environment cannot appreciate it, you waste your life. Right now, I'm learning and that online CCND because I apply for this course. Is there an Indian people that teach me online how to network in uh, all these marks of a team? Okay, concentrate. I mean, concentration is what you need. You will excel. God okay. bless you. Next. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Daddy, good morning. Morning. Please, Daddy, there is this thing that is bothering me. Thank God for this opportunity. Daddy, we are staying in Marine Base. My husband is doing buying and selling. Since he's a furniture man, I decided to go into furniture and be giving somebody to do for me. So my husband have this to great by God's grace. So I saw that in Marine Base, everybody is doing the same thing. Assuming wardrobe, they are doing the same design. Hanger, producing the same. So my husband now bring different hanger design and wardrobe. We do it. Customers were stripping in. Even though you tell them 50,000, they will buy. He said them the hanger, 7,000, they will buy. Because we are the only one that had that design. And they love the design. All of a sudden, people start snapping and be doing it. I even saw the design of the hanger in another person. I, I was even angry okay. because the person spoiled the price. If I sell 5,000, the person will sell 3,000, 4,000. And the customer will say, is it not the same thing? Okay. I even confront the person. Amen. Now, listen, listen. My sister, look at me. Be encouraged. Let people be copying you. And be discovering and let them be copying. Be discovering and let them be copying. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? You continue discovering. You will get in contact with the people that need original. With the grace from this altar, God is linking you up to people who want original. And then, relax, where you are going is higher. Lord, I exercise dominion over powers that want to waste their destiny. I waste that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, rise up and let's pray. I want you to just bless the Lord. Tell the Lord, thank you for what you are doing this season. Open your mouth and bless him. Just worship him and tell him, Lord, I appreciate. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. One prayer point, my God, my Father, open my eyes to discover what I carry. 
even when my manna has not stopped. Open my eyes to discover what I carry and to make use of it. Open your mouth and call upon God. God, open my eyes. Help me to discover what I carry. Lord, help me to discover what I carry. In Jesus' name we pray. Blessed Redeemer, we thank you so much. And Lord, I pray that those of them, you have removed their manner. And they are grumbling backbiting, gossiping, oh God, I pray, may they cease from doing such. May they discover why you did it. So that you can open them up to greater blessing, to territories they've not explored and they've not conquered. Strengthen them to conquer such territories. And Lord, I am asking that from now henceforth, may nobody settle at manna. Because it is only one type of food. May people desire after different dishes. Different types of food. Better life. Higher life. Abundant life. Things that will make their lives better. May nobody settle as nothing. Lord, I pray that whatsoever that cover their eyes of understanding. Spirit of mediocrity. Spirit of a poverty mentality, grasshopper mentality, I command such to be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, trouble everybody, man or woman, learned or learned, any part of the world where such a person is. May the person's eyes open to a horizon they have never discovered. Take them to a higher ground. Jesus Christ's name we pray.